So are you going to get the Arduino to turn your telly on? That's what we all want to see. Yeah, funny you should ask that. That's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to connect up an IR emitter to the to the breadboard, and then we're going to send a signal to it from the Arduino, and we're going to make the telly turn on. Why the hell do you want to turn your telly on anyway? Or uh, TV, as you may call it in your country. We call it telly here. It just shows a bunch of crap. Who the hell wants to watch a load of crap about somebody buying a house or somebody dancing? Not me. But you might want to watch YouTube, and I can't blame you, especially when there's so many quality programs and nice little videos on there, especially ones that tell you how to do a bunch of clever stuff with your computer or drive a digger or smash something up with a hammer, maybe. So turn your telly on. If you've got a smart telly, watch YouTube. Watch something interesting. And, uh, yeah, whatever. Uh, yeah, I can see you're pointing at the transmitter and the connections, which are ground, 5 volts and data. Data is being read by a digital input pin on the Arduino. So I've um, found a code, the hex code, to send to my Samsung telly. found this via Google. And it's the raw code so if you're using a library you don't need to use send NEC or send Samsung you just do send raw um, in some ways this is easier although as you can see on the screen there's a lot of numbers but if you can copy and paste then it doesn't matter does it um, declared it up there as a unsigned int integer um, fairly straightforward what I would add next to the bedboard is a little push button obviously to activate uh, the sender because at the moment I've just hard coded it so that it sends the code when I power it on as you can see I'm powering it from the mains via an adapter I'm plugging in the USB lead here just so that I can tinker with the code. When uh, when you look at that code, you might have noticed that I was sending the characters to the LCD on the wrong line. I was sending on um, line two, which was then um, not clearing itself. When you use the LCD, you need to clear the characters before you send some more text otherwise it overlaps um, as you'll see shortly I had Samsung remote and then Samsung TV power on then I moved it to the top line Samsung TV power I ran out of characters it was going to say Samsung TV power on uh, yeah, editing it again on the PC, then resending it, up, uploading it back to the Arduino, test again. You can see it flash. Yeah, Samsung TV one. So it actually should have said Samsung TV on, but that uh, E on the end that makes it say one, that's actually the E from the previous line that I hadn't cleared when it said Samsung TV remote so you can get some strange results if you don't clear the LCD do you like my pencil I quite like using pencils rather than pens or computers pencils are good just a little tip for you there get yourself a pencil so uh, you can see I'm just modifying the code a bit more sending it raw which was 
what I found on a niche remote control website. Once I've got a display working, I'm just going to um, take it downstairs and plug it in at the wall and see what it does with my Samsung TV. I keep mentioning Samsung, you can do this with any TV, especially if you're using the raw codes. If you've got the raw code for a Sony telly, turn your Sony telly on. If you've got the raw codes for a Panasonic, just find the hex code for a Panasonic. You're probably getting bored now watching this. If you want to skip, just skip forward to, uh, well, a bit later in the video. I can't remember what time to go to. Just waffling now, really. Just a bit bored and wondering why my neighbour's roof has got grass growing in the gutter because they're too lazy to clean it out I think but perhaps they're busy who knows they might be uh, they might be looking forward to a family holiday in uh, Tenerife they might be buying some new flip flops or uh, some new matching luggage in leisure wear there we go so I've got the LCD displaying the correct message that I was after and now I'm going to unplug the USB lead because I'm not going to program the Arduino anymore prior to going downstairs and testing and you can see my living room with all my books and crap that I'm about to sell on Gumtree. So about to plug my Arduino in at the wall you can see it powering up and if you're lucky uh, you see the TV light up? That's the backlight. That's the and the telly's turned on. Wow. Amazing. Shame it's turned on some lousy cookery program, but you can't win them all, can you? So there you go. Close up of uh, a bunch of crap. And Samsung TV on. I'm getting the LCD to tell me what's happening as well. Not very useful in itself, but um, you know, good to be able to uh, mess about with an LCD whilst tinkering with an infrared emitter. And that man looks a bit stupid, and he's cooking half a dead animal in a frying pan. By the look of things, good luck to him. No hands. I was waiting for the command to run again to turn the telly off but I think I put too many noughts in the delay doesn't matter really the main point of this exercise is to get the emitter talking to the telly which I've done um, next put some little micro push switch micro switches on to the breadboard and then connect back to the Arduino and then you can do what you want with each button turn the you on, off, change channel, blah 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 hope you're enjoying watching some shocking cookery program I apologise for the lack of the normal excellent Dr. Pi video quality but I thought I'd just waffle on today, not bore you with loads of uh, captions and pictures of kittens. If you want to see some kittens, fill your boots, go on YouTube. So there we go. Any comments, especially sarcastic ones, put them down below and I will either ignore them or reply with something equally sarcastic. <laughs>